Hey, how are you doing? I'm Kamo and welcome to a game called Sequence. Now I say that a lot of games are my favorites, but when it comes to beat-based, this is my favorite. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good beat-based games out there, but this one takes the cake for me. Now, this game is really intense and really involved, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the game to you guys a little bit so you know what's going on. And then I'm actually going to play the game. I'm going to have a little focus cam in there where you can see my face and how hard you have to focus on the game. Basically, in this game, you've got three windows. You've got an attack window, a defense window, and a mana window. You have to cast spells to attack the opponent. And when you do that, a bunch of arrows will come down and you play it like DDR where you got to hit the arrows. Now, I'm using my gamepad for this. Also, during this time, the enemy will be attacking you, so you got to switch to the other window and hit the arrows to defend yourself. And then on the mana window, there's going to be arrows falling constantly, and then you switch over there after you cast spells to refill your mana. It's a really great game. I freaking love it. There is a story. The voice acting is very good. And there's crafting, although the crafting is kind of basic. Basically, you're given items, and you can also find items on the enemies. And then you use your experience to actually craft them. It's really cool. I love the game. Um, I highly recommend this one. I'm going to have the links down in the description. This is not a new game or anything like that. But it is a great game nonetheless. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of the levels. I'm going to show you a little bit of the crafting system. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the crafting first. And then I'll show you the, uh, the actual songs and all that afterwards. Alright, so normally when you go in and do things, this is what your little window is going to look like. This is kind of like your home base. So when you go to gear, this is where you're going to go in there. And this is where you can actually craft craft stuff. Now you see along the bottom, um, I don't have an arrow or anything, I don't know if this is going to show up in the... Is that going to show up? Yeah. So down here you'll see where the actual items are that you need, and you get those items by defeating the enemies of that floor. And then if you go to each of these different sections, you can actually break items that you find, extra items that you find that you don't need, you can break them down for more experience, and then when you go to craft something, you'll use experience. So let me show you that for an example. So uh, let me go ahead and create a black potion. And then here is where you actually use your experience to craft things. The more experience you use, the more the higher chance of success. So as you can see, I can get like an 85% chance pretty easily. And then you try and craft it. Ah, that's my luck. That is that is my life right there. 86% chance to succeed, and it flops. Let me try again. There you go. That's a success. So, then, what you can do, and I'm using my gamepad, so you go between these, and I'm going to spend a black potion, and it increases my health permanently, and you can craft more of that kind of stuff. Oh, no, actually, not now. <laughs> but anyways, you can go through, and you can create the things, you can see what the item would do, you can see the effects that it would have on your stats if you use that instead of what you currently have. So there's a lot of really great stuff as far as crafting goes and getting items. Now, you can get a lot of items from your enemies um, for your spell set. You unlock spells, so you can craft more spells. You saw there were scrolls in the other one. You craft the spells, and then you can equip them after you've crafted them. Now, you'll see this little radial down here. This is where you'll actually select your spells. When you're using the controller, you use the right the right stick to select and or to put down a spell. And there's, there's so many different spells. I mean, I've only got four right now, but there's more spells down the road. You got battles, so you select your floor. There's multiple floors that you're trying to battle your way through. Now, I've actually beaten this game, but I re had to reinstall it with the new reformat, and I it actually got rid of my save. So, um, this is where you can actually progress your way through. Uh, you can change the difficulty. I play it on hard. And then when you go, when you're actually, you have to craft, for each floor, you have to craft a key that unlocks the door to go to the next level. When you unlock the door, you have to fight the boss, and usually most of the bosses will have special abilities and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you guys some of the battles. There's dialogue between levels. Like I said, there is a story to all of this, and the voice acting is actually really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the gritty of it. I'm gonna show you guys some of the battles. Um, like I said, I really recommend this game. There's not gonna be a whole lot of dialogue while I'm fighting. <laughs> Just because you really have to focus. So here's where you can choose your enemies. You can see the BPM, which is the beats per minute. Um, and then you can... It'll show you... You have to basically beat them to find out what items they drop. And then you can see all their stats here and whatnot, what their flow is. And then there's Spectrum. You'll see it in just a minute. I'll show you. I love this song. Rapid Fire. Alright, here we go. Focus time. So here's the attack one I was talking about. So he just tried to attack me right there. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast a spell. I just tried to cast Arc Light, and see now the spell shows up over here. Now that is me changing between the windows. You have to manually change between windows. It doesn't do it for you. Oh, damn it! I forgot to hit the last arrow. Ah! Oh, I'm locked! Oh! That's the guardian effect of this floor, huh? To lock you to a particular... Okay, there we go. I pressed the arrow, dang it. I screwed up a few of my spells. <sighs> ha! So after each fight, you'll get experience and whatnot. And obviously, since I didn't win, um, I didn't get any items out of it. God, I attempted 12 spells and only casted eight. Now, a lot of the music in this game is actually by Ronald Jenkins. Uh, if I remember correctly, he made it big by uh, on YouTube. Hello, YouTubes. <laughs> I'm just hitting random buttons, hoping to god I hit them. Ah, oh, dang it. That's the only problem, sometimes they'll attack at the same time. Mm. Ah, let me change! What do you, throw everything at me while I'm in that freaking field? Ah. If I'd stop missing my spells, I might win.
Oh crap! Oh my goodness, they're doing more damage. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna fight the guy that's on the first, <laughs> the first guy that's here, rather than trying to jump to the last one. <sighs> it wouldn't be so bad if I wouldn't stop missing my spells. Yeah, nice and slow. I love it. Cast! I <laughs> just hit a bunch of random ones. random ones. God, it's the only problem I have sometimes is the graphics get in the way. There we go, finally! Beat one! Alright, so this is what I wanted to show to you. This game is phenomenal. I love this game so much. And you can see along the right hand side, there's the loot and whatnot and the chances for getting each of them. Obviously, it doled out the experience. It's amazing what happens when you actually hit your spells. Now, I was being dumb on those other ones. I probably should have... I, I should have won them, but I kept missing my spells. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did this a little bit differently than I usually do. I did it with less dialogue during the actual fights and whatnot. It's just that you have to focus really hard on the game. Or I do. You guys can probably multitask it because I suck. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. So be sure to toss me a like if you did. I hope to see you around some more. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And in the meantime, all of you take care.